had a nightmare that Guy Fieri was force feeding me different French fries he cooked in all sorts of different oils. And I woke up right before he was able to finish cooking the Pennzoil SAE 10W30. I honestly, I really want to know what it tastes like. So today's video, we're going to try cooking French fries in different oils. I don't know, maybe they're better, maybe they're worse. Does anyone know why they have buttons on both sides? Maybe, well, you know what, we'll do a mix today. We'll do half right, one left. So I was thinking we could test out some canola oil that I found in the back of Kevin's truck. Then we go a little bit weirder with some avocado oil. Hit it with some solidified coconut oil. This should just completely liquefy. I think he uses stuff like popcorn. Look at stir fry. Yeah, you can totally deep fry with that. I don't see why not. With lard, what is this, beef? Beef lard probably. Butter, right? Mineral oil. And Penn's oil, SAE 10W30. Five different oils, five types of french fries. Wait, is that right? One, seven types of oils. Does it make a difference what oil you cook your french fries in? I don't think it does. Got my tiny little pot, two cups of oil. I put the lid on. It's getting warmer, 113. Here's my potatoes. I'm not gonna show you how I cut them because you guys aren't stupid. Soaked them in water for like, I don't know, two hours. And supposedly that gets rid of all the starch. I've made french fries once in my life. So a lot of this is just doing it and see what happens. 380, this is very hot oil, 383. Okay, this is too hot with it. This will cool it down, I think. Oh! All right, a little too hot. The trick to making perfectly crispy french fries is to cook them twice, or that's what people say. I don't have time for that. It's gonna take like 10 minutes each batch, and I gotta do seven. That's like an hour. We're gonna be cooking french fries for an hour straight. I've got less than two minutes left, and we're starting to get kind of a nice, sort of uh, golden yellow color. We want them to be a little bit darker, I think. Okay. That's a, that's a pretty mean looking french fry right there. Their toasties are fresh off the grill. Uh, I, you know what, I'm just gonna do no salt. It's not a good french fry, but it is a french fry. Like, I, I'm also not a huge fan of french fries. Let's, let's salt it up. Let's see, I, this is gonna immediately make it better. If I went to a restaurant and the fries came out like this, I don't think I would be impressed, but I wouldn't even think twice about it. Like, yeah, these are french fries. They're pretty good, they're salty. There's nothing weird about them. Now I gotta do something about this oil. Fuck. Oh, well, that's really soft. Is it leaking holes through? No, I think it's from the outside. All right, perfect. These are a zero score. If the next oil is better, it goes above. If the next oil is worse, it goes below. Let's go give Kevin one of these french fries and see what he thinks. Kevin, is Kevin here? You wanna try some of Big Willie's potato fries? I'm suspicious. Why? Nothing, these are delicious fries, chef. They taste normal. Should I, should I keep eating? Yeah, you keep eating. <laughs> okay, these taste fine. Nothing weird? No, not at all. Okay, that was made with the canola oil I found in the back of your truck. Good, perfect. Good? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, that's the baseline. Our next oil is avocado oil. I'm gonna do a little less than the two cups. That was a bit uh, scarier. Oh geez, how hot is this? I'm gonna turn it down. Oh, and I'm like burning. I'm like melting the freaking thermometer. No. We're gonna throw the fries in. Look at that. No overflow, this is great. Let's set the timer for four minutes. Throw a thermometer in there that we can barely read anymore. But you know, that, that looks pretty good. They're like a little crispy and brown on the edge, kind of golden in the middle. Hot avocado french fries. Probably cost like $40 in any city. <laughs> Boomer jokes. I, you could, I have no idea what oil this is. I genuinely cannot tell. It, it tastes exactly the same as the canola oil. Don't, definitely don't use the, what was this, like 40, no, 20 bucks for that bottle? 18.99, we used about half of it. That was like $10 of oil to make those fries. And it tastes exactly the same as the canola. Salt, it tastes like salt. All right, I'm gonna go dump this. It's not leaking yet. Let's go give some uh, french fries to other subjects. Mama mia, it's a me, a chef. I have some french fries for you guys. No. Just eat one. I wouldn't force you to eat it if they were cooked in motor oil. I'm just afraid of this. Like what? Yeah. The outfit, I'm, I have an unmonitored stove outside. It tastes excellent. <laughs> this is very good. What if I told you they were cooked in $10 worth of avocado oil? <laughs> <laughs> Our next oil is a delightful solidified coconut oil. Oh, that looks like exactly what I would imagine the inside of someone's face looks like when you're doing facial reconstruction surgery on them. Um, do I just stick my in that? Oh my God, this stuff does not want to break apart. What does it taste like? Like candle wax. It tastes like candle wax. Can you guys believe that? Okay. Let's get that in there. Do you want to make methamphetamine? 
Do you want to smoke some crack? I think Red Robin has the shittiest french fries ever. They call them steak fries. Don't, like, why are you putting meat words in your french fries to upsell them? They're, they're huge and they're like mashed potatoes on the inside and just sort of something disgusting on the, in, the outside. No, I, I, I didn't mean to go that deep. I was just trying to say my least favorite french fries are Red Robin steak fries. They should call them shit fries. Uh, then my next least favorite is probably McDonald's french fries like 20 minutes after you bought them. Coconut oil french fries. Guess what? It tastes like a french fry. It tastes exactly the same as every other french fry. I'm gonna lose my mind. There's nothing, there is no difference between any of these french fries. Nice ass. They taste exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> any guess? Could you even begin to guess? Mm, no. What do you think, Sandra? Oh, they're doing really good. What do you think, what kind of oil? Regular oil, regular french fry oil? You could get it. Coconut oil. Oh! Really? Yep. Wow, these are really good. Don't taste it at I don't all. I taste none of it. You won't believe it. Chef has new french fry. I don't like this game. It's not a game. This is real life. These smell weirder. They don't smell as good. How can you smell any difference? I don't like it. <laughs> really? You can taste the difference? Yeah. They kind of remind me of Wendy's fries. Lard might be the might be the move. In Spanish, it's called manteca. It's just on, this is what it says on the side of the box. It's very slimy. Oh, it's very mushy too. Oh, this is cool. Let's crank that soldier boy, you know? What do kids say? What do kids say these days? What slang do kids use nowadays? Bruh, fam. Gucci, low key, T, chill. This annual list of slang terms could have some parents saying yeet. I'm not gonna read this article. I'm not reading this article. This oil's lit, fam. Dab on the haters. This oil's Gucci. This Gucci mat, this Gucci bag was made by children in Bangladesh. If you're a kid in Bangladesh making sweaters, you probably make a penny. Boss makes a dollar, I make one thousandth of a cent. This is why I don't wear clothes. My lavish lifestyle is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. Have you ever tried downloading something from the internet that was completely not illegal at all? but your service provider blocked it anyways? I'm not a criminal. Tell your ISP to pound sand with Surfshark VPN, which encrypts your browsing and hides your physical location and IP address. If certain shows aren't available in your country, Surfshark VPN can change what country you're in without ever leaving the comfort of your cinder block. If you use public Wi-Fi network, Surfshark VPN scrambles your data with encryption. So whatever pervert is on the network sniffing your data only gets garbage. There's over 3,200 servers in 100 different countries. North Korea is not one of them. I checked. Bypass censorship, liberate your internet, secure your assets, Link is in the description. And remember to use code William Deal to get up to an additional six months free. Thank you Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. Smells bad. Is it smoking? Oh yeah. It smells like a, like burning corpse. You're trying to get away from it. <laughs> You're trying to get away from the smell. We're going in. Ooh. Yeah, that's that smells sort of ripe. It smells like it smells like everything but meat cooking. It's all the parts that are not meat. That's what it smells like. Burning bones and tendons, like oh. Riz. What is riz? We risen, we risen on these taters. Riz is a colloquial word defined as style, charm, or attractiveness. The ability to attract a romantic or sexual partner, according to the Oxford University Press. How do you know if you have riz? Sounds like a venereal disease. I have, I have riz. All right, lard French fries. Oh, it's so hot. First of all, the observation that the oil itself that we're deep frying in looks disgusting. It's cloudy, it's horrible, it reminds me of gel, like unflavored gelatin. I don't like it at all. The fries smell good. It feels like the first time, I mean, maybe they're just really hot, but they feel more full. It's the first time I've noticed them tasting like more, probably closest to like actually like meat-ish, like Red Robin's crabby steak fries. Do either of you know what riz means? Like risen? Well, so here's new French fries. Risen on my Gucci, does that mean anything? Does that ring a bell? It makes me uncomfortable. These are rank. These what? don't smell very good. Are you like? Oh, these are, these are God, so why does it smell like meat? This might be the best tasting one. Mm -hmm. You know what? I really hate it. You like it? No, I don't. You like actually it. don't like I it? I actually don't like why? it. Why? Because I just can't get over the smell. The whole experience? You should have smelled it when it was frying. I, it, it really, it just smells like I'm eating like old meat from the back of a fridge. Do you, do you know what rizzing on my Gucci means? Yeah, Peter taught me. What does it mean? 
Peter can teach you too. <laughs> okay, so they smell normal. They, uh, well actually they don't smell normal, but I don't know what that is. They look oilier than normal. I think they taste better. They don't taste as burned. Mm. They're not like crisp though. I feel like the other ones might've been crisper, but these don't taste burned. Any guesses? No idea. WD-40. <laughs> Beef lard. Wait, really? Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's why they taste so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh shit, oh, oh God, oh my beer. Someone else's problem. Our next deep frying oil is Kroger brand sweet cream unsalted butter. If you're actually using unsalted butter in your day-to-day -day life, you are sleeping on salted butter. I don't care if it kills me. I think my favorite thing in life is food. If I die from eating, that's okay. I'm okay with it. I don't like this. What's up, gamer? Hey, uh, Kevin told me that you could teach me what Riz and Gucci mean. Uh, Gucci is what's in your mom's coochie. Okay. And Riz is what I have. I, I still feel like I'm confused. All right, I think if you're looking for a Zoomer, you should look for... Fuck. No, that's definitely Kevin. Kevin's definitely a Zoomer. Hey, Kevin told me to talk to you. <laughs> no, I'm telling you to talk to Kevin. <sighs> Close it. And then let her rip. Hey, what does what does risen and Gucci mean? Riz is like you have you're good at like um like talking to people. It's short for charisma. Oh, like is he, he's got Riz. He's like good at picking up girls and stuff. I thought it was it's like more, a STD. Yeah, high Riz probably also high STI ratio. Low Riz, no STIs. L yeah, which is why I like to keep it low as possible. Okay, then what's yeah. Gucci? Gucci just means good. That's like four or five years old, man. Are there new words? What's the new words? Um, I really like munch. Munch. That's like that's like new for simp. That's it. Thanks. Bye. All right. Bye. If the idea of answering the phone stresses you out and gives you social anxiety, you probably don't have Riz. That looks and smells amazing. All right, deep frying with butter. I'm pretty sure at this point is impossible. You can't win everyone, but maybe it tastes okay. No, it doesn't. It's not gonna taste good. Maybe with salt though. French fries, fried in butter. No, it's kind of like mashed, it's unmashed mashed potatoes. What is that? What does it leave us with? The mineral oil? Are we getting into the, the horrible, the nightmare oils now? This is so exciting, mineral oil. This is good. It's thick, it's creamy. I bet you that you're not gonna be able to tell that this is mineral oil. I bet you it's gonna taste better than regular oil. Look at this mess. Made a huge mess. You see, can you, with, on the side of that propane, you see all the stalactites growing on it? What do you think it tastes like? Probably, this probably looks like the coconut oil, probably. Hmm, nah, maybe, I don't know. Tastes like all the oils mixed together. Maybe the lard? What's spilled over? Everything? Uh, no, don't overflow, please. God, no. Uh. Stop. 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 Don't overflow. Don't overflow. Shit. Shit. It's overflowing. Oh my God. It's so big. It's a big muffin. These, these might be the nicest looking french fries we have made all night, gamers. <laughs> they look exactly like french fries. This is actually psychotic. I might actually get diarrhea if I eat too many of these. Is this enough? How much mineral oil do you need to have diarrhea? Mineral oil french fries. Oh my God. It's a me, a chef. Fuck, fuck. I would like for you to try one of these delectable french fries. I heard you screaming a lot out there. What happened? Did it, did it overflow a little uh, bit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's less than there normally is. Yes. <laughs> That's good. What if I told you that was a mineral oil french fry? That's a french fry cooked in mineral oil. That's the one that makes you shit? Yeah, well, I think you have to eat a lot of it. Oh, okay. That's good. Tasteless, odorless, mineral oil for oil purposes, including laxative. Hmm. I don't like the last one. Oh, you look hungry. Mmm, those are crunchy. Mmm. Salty, crunchy. I think How would you rate them, french fry wise? I think they're the best so far. Mineral oil. No way. Yeah, this is mineral, mineral oil. That's mineral oil. I, I actually don't Can know how much, that? you can't, it's a laxative. I don't know how much you have to eat for that to happen. <laughs> Let me have another. I know, I'm like, <laughs> these are gonna be gone. These are good. I'm, I, maybe I should Google that really quick. Four, 15 to 45 milliliters a day. That's a lot. We'll check back in tomorrow. I'll let you know if anything happens inside of me. All right, update, my diarrhea hasn't changed at all. It's exactly the same <laughs> as it always is. Those are actually really good french fries. Is anybody else nervous? I know I sure as heck am. Pennzoil, 
SAE 10W30. It looks, it looks like every other oil. They, all the oils look the same. This one's a little darker though. This kind of looks like dehydrated oil. Avoid prolonged or repeat, repeat contact with skin. If swallowed, call a poison control center or a doctor immediately. Do not induce vomiting. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. That one tastes funny. Hi, I was uh, changing the oil in my son's car. I just bought a new car for him, and uh, I, some of the the motor oil splashed in my mouth. It was it was the new one. I got kind of a mouthful of motor oil. Is that bad? I, I spit it out. Okay, I think if you just had it in your mouth briefly and you spit it out, I suspect it won't be a problem given the amount of product. So I can just double check it. Uh, yeah, it's the Pennzoil SAE 10W30. It didn't even taste that bad. It kind of just sort of a little chemically, but I spit it out immediately. Okay. Hey, chef. Yeah. Are you doing anything Friday? I don't think so. Why? All right. Hello. Uh, hey, what's, how's it going? Hi. Hi. Thanks for holding. So, um, yeah, it looks like it's just kind of a regular motor oil. So, yeah. I, I wouldn't expect a big concern from um, just having it in your mouth briefly. Main thing is that it could be a little bit irritating if it gets left on, you know, the skin or you know where it touches. Right. So that's why we just kind of want to wash things off as best we can. Okay. And I don't think it would cause more than like a little stomach upset or a little nausea or diarrhea or something small like that. Okay. It, it, what had happened if I accidentally swallowed it? Just curious. I don't plan to, but... I, I think I would be telling you relatively the same thing. To okay. just kind of... I think it'd just be a higher chance to get the stomach upset and nausea and diarrhea. You know, I've, never, I've never called poison control before and that was, that was actually a, a pretty nice experience. Alright, that's darker than I remember it being. Oh my god, it smells like burnt rubber. Oh, it smells so bad. <laughs> Just overflowing. <laughs> Alright, start the timer. So we're about 100 degrees under temp, and this stuff is frothing up. I think we need a different motor oil. I think that there's there's some additive in this that is causing, causing it to, to maintain its thickness. Here we go, it's going. Also, I learned what riz means. It's charisma. It's like you're good at, yeah, you're good at talking to, I'm assuming it's women or, you know, you can, that's, I'm assuming, it, I mean, I can't imagine, it's like, I got that riz because I'm not afraid of talking to a person at the, you know, the not self-checkout. <laughs> I'm not afraid of that. I bet you there's a whole generation of people that haven't walked out of a store with a bag because they're afraid to talk to the cashier. You ever heard of Baby Gronk? No, it's that. He's the Riz King. Something about him and Livy, right? Mm -hmm. Livy? Yeah. Got next, that's yeah. next, that's next video. <laughs> you got Gat? And he got Riz? What does Gat mean? What does Gat mean? Do you know what Gat means? I feel like if I was in Gordon Ramsay's kitchen right now, he would actually beat the living daylights out of me. Uh, I don't think I can cook these. <laughs> I couldn't even get them hot enough to crisp them up. God, they smell like Jiffy Lube. Wait, wait. Come on. Mm, you know what? Oh, fuck. <laughs> it got the aftertaste of a janitorial cleaning closet. Okay, that's our conclusion. The uh, Target Up and Up mineral oil meant as a laxative is our best French fry frying oil. It might actually be the cheapest too. I, I don't know how much it costs. It was three bucks. You know, it's a little more expensive than the other oils, but it makes a better French fry. So if you're at home, you're looking to lose weight, you're looking to have diarrhea, cook yourself some French fries with Target Up and Up mineral oil. You probably could use any brand, but I thought it'd be funny to recommend this one. All right, see you next time.